What up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my MLB picks for Wednesday, August 15th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all my MLB, NBA, and NFL videos. If you haven't already, go check out my new website at www.dfscheesheet.com. We have all the tools, including a complete optimizer, tons of content, every single thing that you need to help you compete with the pros night in and night out. Check us out, www.dfscheesheet.com. So before we get started, I want to say, hey, my, yesterday's video, I hit that 75 mark that I was looking for. Um, I'm going to go ahead, hey, first time ever. Giving away free MLB uh, package. Our winner of last night's contest was Leonard Hernandez. Hey, Leonard, please hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at RotoBeast. I'll get you all set up with your free 30-day VIP package um, to our new website. And hey, let's run it back again tonight. Looking to you know this time I want to you know I want to hit that 100 mark. I'm very close. Help me get that 100 mark. So click click the like button below. Drop your name in the comment section. If I get 100 likes, I'll give away another free 30-day VIP all-access package. I don't mind giving away a free package every single day. I honestly don't. All the asking, let me get them 100 likes, and I'm going to give one away every day. It's all good. Just like Leonard won his, he's going to start with the money team tomorrow, checking out our optimizer and everything we got. Hey, you could be the next one. Check it out. Make sure that you, you know, click the like button. Make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you drop your name in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, hey, let's get into this um, slate. So we got a 10 game slate. I'm going to be completely honest with you. This slate is absolutely ugly. Okay, we got some really good hitter spots. We have no pitchers that we can really rely on. This is going to be tough. I don't know who I'm going to go with the other pitcher. It's still really up in the air, to be honest with you. But I have. Five pitchers I am going to look at. I will break them down. I will break down my hitters. And we'll just get through this video quickly. So we'll start with Garrett Cole. Um, you know, Verlander was pitching a gym tonight. And then Arenado messed it all up with a two-run shot. I mean, Garrett Cole, he can have an, a good game just like Verlander had a good game. One thing that scares me a little bit with Garrett Cole is, is the past few years, before this year, he was in the National League. And a lot of these Nationals actually have um, seen um, Garrett Cole in the past. And they have some good uh, some good batting um, it's a good BVP off him. Look, we can check that out on our BVP tab. Um, we will go to where are we looking at? We're oh Colorado. So you got Charlie Blackman. He's batting three thirty three. You got Arenado. He's batting four twenty nine. Um, Desmond has some hits. So there's a couple guys who have some good hits. I think if he can get around Charlie Blackman, he can get around Nolan. He can get around. You know, Desmond, even Story, too. You know, Story could pop one. Um, then I think he'll be all right. So I definitely think we could consider Cole for our cash game, especially on this horrible slate. I think he'll give us a solid floor. Uh, but I'm not 100% sold on him yet. Next, you got Zach Wheeler going against Boston, who's been striking out a ton. But they are starting to hit the ball a little bit better. Ziller's, uh, Wheeler's been pitching, you know, pretty well um, in his own right. So I definitely think you could consider him along with Cole for your cash games. Then, I mean, the next three guys are strictly GBP, GPP. Uh, first, you can look at Shane Viber in Great America Small Park in Cincinnati, a really good hitter's park. Cincinnati does have some good lefties that could definitely, um, you know, hit some bombs off them. Uh, but, I mean, at a 7,900 price tag for a guy who's been pitching pretty well in the season, I definitely think you could look at him. Then you got Vincent Velasquez going against Boston, the hottest team in baseball. I mean, Velasquez is a good pitcher, but he's going against the hottest team. That's why he's only 7,300. So for GPP, he does definitely give you some strikeout upside. So I definitely think you could consider him. And a wild long shot, a stab in the dark, Robert uh, uh, Stevenson, he does give us some strikeout upside. But, I mean, that's pretty much all he really gives us. I mean, at 5,600 price tag, we're hoping for five innings, seven Ks, six Ks, and, you know, three runs. And, you know, we can pay up everywhere else we want for bats. So at a strictly shot in the dark GPP, we can look at Stevenson. Next, we'll go to catcher first base. 
Um, you know, I'm going to start first with uh, Matt Carpenter. The guy just tearing the cover off the ball, playing simple, playing every night right now. He also has um, – Solid track record versus Hellickson. Three for eight with a double in his career. Then you got Freddie Freeman. I've played him two nights in a row. I'm probably going to play him again once again tomorrow. The price has it went up going against Arena. He's eight for 20 in his career with two doubles, a triple, and two home runs. So a solid track record. I definitely think I'm going to go right back to the well. Yadier Molina has a home run in his career against Hellickson. Joey Votto at only 3,400. I mean, come on, man. You're disrespecting the guy now. Going against Shane Biber, um, I think that he's a solid play. And lastly, a guy who's been um, in that four hole. Let me find him real quick. Uh, Alonzo going against Stevenson, who I said is definitely up and down. Um, a guy swinging a good bat, 3,400. I think he's a really, really good play as well. Um, then we'll go to second base, start with Scooter Jeanette, um, going against Shane Biber. You know, Great America Small Park, balls fly. This is a great spot for these Cincinnati lefties. Um, so I like Jeanette and I like Votto. Dozier going against Holland. He's five for six in his career with the home run. Um, so some really, really good numbers. Jonathan VR going against Willer. I don't really want to pick up uh, Willer, but VR is only 2,600, batting in that leadoff spot. Um, I'm trying to figure out why he hasn't been running. The guy still has tons of bases. I've been playing him. He's been getting on, but he's not running. So I don't know if just Baltimore doesn't run or what's going on, uh, but the guy definitely has some stolen base upside. It has a little bit of power upside as well. Whit Merrifield, only 3,300. Batting in that leadoff spot, going against Marco Estrada, who gives up tons of home runs. Merrifield does have a little bit of pop, um, you know. And then lastly, I should have said, oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Lastly, Albies, love this Atlanta Brave stack once again tomorrow at home. Going against Urena, he has a double in his career against Urena. Third base, Jose Ramirez going against Stevenson, swinging a monster bat right now, MVP candidate. If you could pay up for him, then why not? 3,800 for Arenado, under 3,000, I mean, under 4,000. Going against Cole, he's 6 for 14 with a double and two home runs in his career against Cole, so he has some solid numbers. Alex Bregman has a home run against Tyler Anderson. Um, Suarez going against Shane Biber in Great America Small, uh, small Park, batting in that um, cleanup spot. Anthony Rendon going against Austin Gomber. Um, Washington swinging a good bat. They've been on fire. Definitely think you could look at Rendon. And uh, that's where I'm at for third base. We'll go to shortstop. Lindor, 4,700 against uh, Stevenson. If you could get him in, just get him in and move on. Like Lindor, stolen base upside, power upside. Um, Trey Turner going against Austin Gomber. You know, had a little bit of pop, definitely stolen base upside at a 3700 price tag. Uh, Manny Machado, 5 for 18 against Holland in his career. Carlos Correa, 3500 just too cheap going against a lefty at home with Tyler Anderson. Beckham, 3100 uh, going against Zach Wheeler. He's going to be low-owned. I mean, he has some pops, some stolen base upside. And then lastly, oh, Jose Peraza, 2,500, another guy against Shane Biber. I'm liking both sides of this Cleveland and Cincinnati game. I like both sides a lot. Um, I definitely think you can look at both sides. There's a lot of good plays at a very good price tag, especially on the Cincinnati side. Then we will go with outfield, finish it up. I'm going to start with Mookie Betts, 5,200. Has a double against um, Velasquez in his career. J.D. Martinez has a homer against Velasquez. Kiermaier, great value play, only 2,300. He's 3 for 11 with the home run against Seiza in his career. Will Myers, too cheap, 3,200, batting in that two-hole. Some stolen base upside, massive power upside. Acuna has home run in like six, I think, straight games, two home runs tonight. He's on an absolute tear. Um, ha, you know, he has a double in his career against Arena already. Great spot. Stanton's just scorching hot right now. Um, you know, he's probably going to be low owned. If you're looking for a double dong upside, you can look at Stanton for sure. Then we're going to go down a little bit. Blackman, only 3,200 for Charlie Blackman. He's 4 for 12 with a double in his career against Cole. I mean, this is just too cheap for him. Very good buy low opportunity, even though he's going against pretty much the best pitcher on the slate. I definitely still like it. We got Adam Eaton, you know, Washington bat, 2,700, dirt cheap, batting in the top of that order. 
I'm um, in the two spot. You know, all he needs is a stolen base. I mean, get on. He can steal a base, um, hit you some value. You know, great price for him. And then last guy I'm going to look at is, where is he at? Ender Enciarte, probably going to be batting in the six hole, not the seven hole. Um, he's seven for 20 with a double, a triple, and a home run in his career against Arena. So I really like him in this um, spot. If they decide to move him up, um, in the lineup a little bit, I would like him even more. But either way, he's a great play. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of where I'm at on this slate, definitely. I mean, I, it's an ugly slate, in my opinion. Ugly, ugly slate. But somebody like me, I play every single day no matter what. So we got to figure out a way to win. Keep the streak rolling. Like I said, check out our new website if you haven't, www.dfsgc.com. Make sure to click the like button on this video. Make sure that you're subscribed. Put your name in the comment section below. I'll give away another free package tomorrow if I hit those 100 likes. Um, Leonard Hernandez, please make sure. Hit me up, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Roto Beast. And, hey, let's get this money. Peace out.